up everybody welcome back appreciate you joining me this afternoon um, I thought today we might go over something on the uh, newer tractors or probably most all tractors now is uh, talking about the hydraulic steering um, I've still seen a lot of stuff online especially with new tractor owners where they are uh, you know complain that the little steering wheel logo doesn't line up when you know when the wheels are straight you know why in the world didn't they you know line that up when they put the steering wheel on at the factory or whatever well that's because with the hydraulic steering um you know it's not necessarily going to be centered up every time you got the wheel straight um you know based on um you know the way the hydraulic steering works um you know the speed at which you you know, may turn the wheel, how far you turn it this way or that way, how much, you know, hydraulic pressure you got at the time, uh, stuff like that's all going to be determining factors. I'm no professional on this, so if you feel free to leave any comments if you can, you know, uh, add, add some comments there as to, to exactly how, you know, how that works. And so anyway, today I thought I'd show a little bit about that. Maybe we'll take her for a spin and, um, you know, take note of where the uh, logo is on the steering wheel at the time and then we'll drive it out do a little turning you know sharp turns not so sharp turns whatever and then come back and see where we end up with the logo um, I've got three different tractors and I thought I'd show uh, each one of them has you know a different kind of steering you know from the from the old days up to to the modern stuff so I um, thought we'd take a look at that but anyway, so let's get the old farmer out and we'll take a look at the steering on it all right here's the old girl 1954 Farmall Super A1. Yes, it is a Super A1 if you've never heard of that. I know it says Super A on the logo, but um, I did a video uh, a couple, uh, maybe a year or so ago. If you haven't checked that out, check it out. Uh, and it can show you what, what distinguishes this as a Super A1 versus a Super A. But anyway, looking at the steering here, strictly straight up mechanical. Um, you know, you got the steering wheel with a with a, a rod there that goes down into a steering box. You got some gears, stuff inside there connects to this arm, and then you know via the ball joints there, you got the connection going to each wheel. So plain and simple, proven works many many years, and you know had back in those days they had plenty of grease fit, fittings to uh, keep that thing greased and where it would turn wheel, but. Uh, Anyway, straight up, strictly mechanical steering, plain and simple. All right, let's go on and take a look at the Massey Ferguson and see what we got on it. All right, here we have the 1998 Massey Ferguson 231. And so what you got here is, you know, your steering column there down to, you know, these arms right here that connect to this rod. And then connect up here with the ball joints and then, of course, there you have a cylinder you know that's power steering you got that you know, and there's your lines running back and then over on the other side you got the same thing same setup right here is your power steering reservoir power steering pump so you have uh you know it's all mechanical linkage just like the uh in fact it looks similar some parts of it as that farm all but it is assisted by these cylinders here you know for the power steering pretty much like what you have in a car so um, you know it definitely makes the steering a little bit easier but if we look over here on the coyote you know and most all these new tractors nowadays this is what you're going to have um, you know everything the whole life of this tractor is is hydraulics uh, so you know here in the steering column down there you've got a what they call a control valve or a steering unit uh, underneath here there is a valve that has hydraulic lines running to it uh, you've got like a supply and a return and I think you've got a port left and right and then they come out down to this cylinder in the front here you can see that connection right there on this side and you got one on the other side as well so when you turn that wheel you direct flow through that control valve up there and you pump the hydraulic fluid you know either out the left or the right to uh, push that cylinder and make it turn left or right. So uh, there again, you know, I think there are multiple factors that can uh, determine, you know, where your your um, wheel ends up as far as when you straighten it back or where your logo ends up. Uh, so we've got a couple things here we can act as markers. So if we get up here and take a look, 
right now, as you can see, we're sort of, we were straight and our logo is kind of slanted off to the left there. So we're going to take it for a spin and just, uh, you know, do some turning left and right and, you know, fast turning, slow turning or whatever, and just see where we're at when we come back. Uh, and there again, we can go by the uh, suicide knob here is kind of at the, uh, I don't know, 11 o'clock position or so. But, uh, all right, let's take her for a spin. Come on, go with us and uh, see what we can get. can see we've got the wheels pretty much straight and now where that suicide knob was at the 11 o'clock or so position when we started now we're I don't know we're probably at the two o'clock position um, you know the logo is almost um, you know straight now so I hope that helps you especially you know if you might be a new tractor owner and you know you're wanting the same thing I did when I the first day I drove this thing why in the world what was the guy drunk that put the uh, steering wheel on, or was it a Friday afternoon or early on a Monday morning? Why did he put the steering wheel on with the logo not lined up? But it's perfectly normal on the hydraulic steering for these tractors. So uh, anyway, hope that helps you out. I uh, appreciate everybody joining me. Do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe. Uh, it won't take but a second. And I really appreciate you joining me, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.